Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Warm day today across a lot of our area. Uh, boy, we did some low 60s in Santa Cruz, but we had middle 60s to upper 60s. Monterey, Salinas hit 67. We got 70 in Watsonville, and we hit the low 60s up in Ben Lomond, Boulder Creek, which they have not done probably in at least a month. So it's been a while. We had some low 70s in Soledad and a 68 in King City. Boy, did that feel good. Now, we also had some cloud cover, of course. Wasn't full sunshine, but we'll take the uptick in temperatures. 40s up there in Lake Tahoe today and a mix of 50s and 60s. We got an 80 in Palm Springs. So there's a little bit of warmth to our south. And that's about all the warmth there is across most of the U.S. right now. It's mostly 30s going all the way to the East Coast where there's some low 40s in Boston. 50s, some 60s down in Miami. So again, most of the rest of the nation pretty cool. We got an area of low pressure coming through and moving north into the Great Lakes. A mix of rain, snow for Chicago the next few days and a cold front pushing towards Virginia Beach, Washington, D.C. and New York City. That will continue. And then some systems starting to make their landfall here on the West Coast. One will come through tonight. The next one will be on Saturday, and that's the one that will get a chance. You can see this trailing cold front there will get a chance at some showers. So we'll look at that a little closer here in a second. First, the cloud cover that you can see moving across the state right now. There is some rain well up to our north towards Redding and then up in Oregon and Washington. This will all just pass on by. We'll see clouds from it overnight. The next system is way out in the Pacific. It's a good one for swell making, so we got more surf on the way. And we got a really solid cold front here, but this is what we call a maturing storm all the way out here. By the time it reaches the West Coast, it's going to be a lot weaker. And we'll be watching clouds and the tail end of another front, it looks like, on Saturday night. So we'll take you through the next couple of days here. Tomorrow morning, we'll probably see a mix of partly to mostly cloudy skies with some patchy fog. Futurecast probably underdoing this by a little bit. Either way, through the afternoon, we're partly cloudy, kind of like today with a light onshore breeze. So your Friday is dry. By Saturday morning, we're still looking at some possible low clouds by the coast and some mid and high level clouds in the morning. But then that cold front comes in Saturday afternoon and evening. Right now, the timing looks like we'll get through the day dry, maybe by 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the evening on Saturday. A couple of showers start popping up in the Santa Cruz area, up into the mountains, and then a few light showers possible overnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. This certainly does not look like a whole lot. 40s for us overnight tonight. We got partly to mostly cloudy skies, areas of fog, and chilly temperatures still, but not cold like we had with the 30s. 60 to 72 again tomorrow, so very similar to today temperature wise. And we'll do that mix of sun and clouds like we did today. 66 Santa Cruz, 70 Watsonville, 67 Gilroy, Salinas Valley, upper 60s to around 70 for most, and some low 60s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains with a 59 in San Francisco. We'll take you through the KSBW eight day forecast. So we're dry tomorrow. We're dry on Saturday, but we'll put a slight chance late. Of course, the timing could get a little faster. So let's say from late afternoon or early evening on, you got a shower chance there. It doesn't look like much. And then Saturday night into Sunday morning, some showers that clears out Sunday afternoon. Monday is dry and then another week front moves through on Tuesday. Our temperatures drop off mostly 50s as these fronts move through. So we'll say goodbye to those 60s and low 70s after Saturday. Your overnight lows, you know, pretty typical 40s going through most of the next seven to eight days. There might be a couple of nights where we might pop an upper 30 here or there next week. But overall, not too bad on the overnight lows. Some showers again on your Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then the rest of the period looks to be dry. So we're going to take a break. It looks like we won't do anything big in the rain department probably until February, but that's not unusual for us to take kind of a breather here for a couple of weeks. Well, and just to remind everybody, February last year was a monster. So you never know what's going to oh, happen. Oh, you never know. And March can be very wet. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah.